You are now watching the best to do it. Teofimo Lopez. Okay, fight fans. You've been asking for championship unification bouts. Because he talked too much, he comic with his father. I want to show him his place. And on October 17th in Las Vegas, you're going to get a great one. When bold, brash, Brooklyn-born, undefeated IBF lightweight champion Tiafimo Lopez steps into the ring to face the Ukrainian sensation and supreme master of the boxing matrix, WBC WBO champ Vasily Lomachenko. To decide, once and for all, which man rules the lightweight roost? As always, click that like button and subscribe to stay up to the minute on all sweet science. Of course, for Loma, the only possible wrap on his stellar professional boxing career thus far has been the somewhat lackluster roster of worthy challengers willing to match up with the dazzling skills of the arguably pound-for-pound -pound best boxer on the planet. After storming through the featherweight and junior lightweight divisions with stunning efficiency, blistering KOs, and an unprecedented run of submissions from top-ranked challengers, including a sixth-round quit on the stool from Cuban boxing legend Guillermo Rigondo. That's four guys that don't come out of their corner in a row. What's your new nickname? Maybe I changed my second name. Maybe I changed it. And now my name is Nomaschenko. <laughs> The newly christened Nomaschenko quickly took control of the lightweight division by finishing rugged Venezuelan champ Jorge Linares with a 10th round referee stoppage to take his WBA lightweight championship belt. Loma then went on in rapid succession to dominate the physically larger Puerto Rican champion Jorge Pedraza to snatch his WBO strap. and then impose his will on the imposing British golden boy, Luke Campbell, to capture the vacated WBC lightweight belt with unanimous decisions over both. And now, it's lightweight unification time for Loma, who's had his eyes on this prize since entering the division. Do you want to fight him to unify? Yes, of course. Now he's a world champion, and uh, welcome to my club. Standing in the Ukrainian Matrix Masters way, a fierce and fiery 23-year-old Brooklyn native who smashed his path through the division with a series of devastating KOs to post an undefeated 14-0 record before he climbed into the ring to square off against rough, tough Ganyan champion Richard Kahn, who himself boasted 26 of his own KOs under his belt. And Tio Fimo then put the boxing world on notice with a quickness, crushing the champ with a second-round lightning strike of an overhand right that sent Tommy crumbling to the canvas before somehow stumbling back to his feet to barely beat the count. Lopez then swarmed and finished him with an absolutely decisive second stoppage, which immediately informed the boxing world that there was definitely a hot, young, and very dangerous new gunslinger in town. Like the, the great KG said, anything is possible. Anything is possible! And he was more than ready to fire away with the very best. So now, it's Loma versus Lopez. And fight fans, this lightweight championship unification bout has it all. Youth versus experience. Cocky versus cool. Good big man versus good little man. Electrifying knockout power versus dazzling technical superiority. 
televised for all the world to see, and a very spicy amount of genuine bad blood between the fighters and their respective camps. Everybody glorifies this guy, and that's one thing that he doesn't understand. The guy is terrible. We're gonna take this guy out in less than three rounds, I'll say it right now, right in your broadcast. Yes, the Lopez camp went there. With the enthusiastic encouragement and very vocal support of his father and trainer. I see him with a belt with 15 fights, you know, and then I see him taking all the belts with 16 fights when we beat the out of Lomachenko. Tiafimo, the takeover, has initiated a war of words with Lomachenko that proves he definitely does not lack confidence, if it proves nothing else. Come out and you fight like that in front of my son. My son will take your head off. Loma is on his way out. I'm on my way in. Rashly announcing his intentions to not only beat Lomachenko, but to knock him out. Lopez has pushed all of his cocky chips forward and is absolutely all in with his pre-fight trash talking. What do you think about Lomachenko? Uh, Lomachenko is... Of course, you know, I feel like he does the same thing over and over again when it comes to footwork and moving to the same side. Uh, there's many, there's, there's three, four ways to beat Lomachenko, you know? Um, what are they? But I can't say. And you're not giving away the secrets? No, absolutely not. For his part, and after repeated rounds of back and forth verbal venom exchanged over the extended run-up to the fight, the normally cool-headed Lomachenko took the bait and responded with his own none too kind thoughts on his vision of the fight. Because he talks too much, he, he looks like he looks like a clown with his father. So fight fans, suffice to say, the bad blood is boiling. These men do not like each other, and it is on. Can the cocky, younger and significantly physically bigger 23-year-old Brooklynite back up his words with the power of his punches to prove he's on his way up and that the 32-year-old Lomachenko is on his way out? Or will the more experienced, savvier, but physically smaller Matrix Maestro take the loudmouth student to school in Sin City and then teach him a boxing lesson in brutal efficiency that the younger fighter might never forget? Will we see a signature Tiafimo backflip to end the night? Or will we see the super disciplined, super motivated, and super fast Ukrainian put a signature beatdown on the brash youngster and show him the correct way to backflip? Series boxing analysts everywhere are also eagerly awaiting the outcome of this grudge match because the much younger Lopez is a naturally large lightweight who is almost certainly expected to step into the ring on fight night with a significant size advantage, along with a height and three-inch reach advantage against the naturally featherweight sized Lomachenko. But I, I, I want to see it, we have to see it. Tails already fulfilled one prophecy from his father saying he would be a world champion by his 15th fight. He's got one more to fulfill, and that's beating Vasily Lomachenko. Kid for throwing a young fighter in the ring prematurely. But if they're pushing the way that they're pushing, and they being him and his father, give him the shot. Now, if he can win or not, I don't know. It may be too early. He may be right on time. I'm not sure right now. But everybody thought Floyd was crazy when he was calling for Gennaro Hernandez. Everybody thought Ali was crazy when he wanted to fight Sonny Listen, the big bad bear. So, you know, this is boxing, man. And uh, the number one rule, rule 101, is to have belief in your ability unwavering belief and he has that yes the good big man is going to fight the good little man and the smack talking young power puncher is going to square off against the cool-headed master technician and speed demon who has mastered bigger men with his fists of fury before yet one thing is definitely certain for every free fight fan and boxing expert alike On October 17th in Sin City, two men are going to enter the ring with equally bad intentions. And so an electrifying night of masterful boxing violence will definitely be on the menu. Loma, Lopez, come and get it. As always, click that like button and subscribe to stay up to the minute on all sweet science.